Hey guys, this is Jeff and VP from Men Physical Therapy. And today we're gonna to be doing a kind of two-part video series on how to improve hip impingement with exercises you can do at home. This would be complementing our blog that we recently posted that there was no difference in physical therapy or surgical intervention for patients with hip impingement. So this first video will focus on the mobility of the hip. A great tool you can use at home is an old mountain bike tube. Bike shops are very happy to get rid of these. So you can just grab an old mountain bike tube Hook it around a pole if you have one. If you don't, I'd put a knot in the end of it, put it into the hinge side of the door, and then close the door towards you. And that'd be the safest anchor at home. Just make sure it's secure before you start putting any tension through the band. So VP is gonna show a long axis traction where you're gonna take the other end of the mountain bike tube and put a figure eight around your ankle. And so as you twist the band, you have a nice secure position for the hip. I would not use TheraBand. It's usually a weak band, it'll break on you. I prefer to use this mountain bike tube and having that in place that will provide some long axis traction to the hip and just trying to relax the hip and the low back allowing the hip to provide traction and usually holding this for 30 seconds to a minute or a few minutes to create more space between the ball and the socket and the hip joint. Now your second option for traction would be to move closer to the strap. He's going to slip the strap over his thigh as close as possible to the hip joint. And as you slide away from the knot, that's going to provide a glide or a traction towards your butt. And you're going to feel a nice stretch on the hip. This one you want to try to avoid any pinching or pain in the hip joint. So if you're feeling any pinching, try to back off the amount of bend you have at your hip and try to lower your knee away from your chest. Once you find a comfortable position, just hold this position again for a minute or two as you provide some self stretching to the hip. Now the final option would be to transition from a passive stretch into more of an active movement. So again, you wanna get the band high and tight to the hip. And when you're in an all fours position, the band will be pulling from inside to outside. And you're gonna rock back towards your heels keeping your back straight, and then rocking back up to start. Again, trying to avoid any pinching in the hip. If you feel any pinching, you can reduce the amount of range of motion you're working into, or add more traction through the band. So maintain the curve of your lower back. Try to isolate just hip movement as you bring your butt towards your heels. And I would work this one for about 30 seconds making it an active mobilization for around or two or three for 30 seconds to a minute. So that ends our first part of the mobility series. Stay tuned for the strengthening part in the next video.